Let's have a look at another question to see how it rolls. A large store opens at 9 o'clock with four people waiting. The shop has two servers who serve all the time. People arrive every two minutes and a service time of five minutes. The sixth customer takes nine minutes to be served. Do a table for ten customers and what's the average customer waiting time? Is this appropriate? So, what we do is we'll have a look at this. I've got some spreadsheets so it's a bit easier to look at. We have our servers down here, the number of servers we have sitting across this side. So our times are 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, because there are four people. These people here are being served, are waiting to be served as the doors open. So there's four sitting here. Then people arrive every two minutes, so it's 902, 904, 906, 908. So 10 customers, we go down to here. I've just listed off the servers here. The service time for all that, except for the sixth customer here, which takes nine minutes. And now we can start working it out. We'll look at the queue length in a minute. I'll cut that off the end of the screen here, but I'll show you when we get there. So let's go look. Nine o'clock, starts at nine, goes to 905. Nine o'clock, this person's there, so server number two can take them. That's at nine o'clock to 905. And server one finishes at 905, so they can come skipping down here, grab the next one. And they go 905 to 910. And the server number two then go 905 to 910 as well. Then server number one's finished, so at 910 they come down here and grab this customer. So it's 910 to 915. Then server number two can come from here and take this customer at 910 and take them through to 919. Notice it's 919 because of this. Now this server is still serving, so server number one comes back in and goes 915 to 920. And now notice how his finish is at 919, so they can now jump into here and grab 919, and go to 924. Then server number one is ready again. It can then start at 920, because they finish at 920, go to 920, go to 925, and then server number two, 924, 929. If you ever get a stage like this where the two servers finish at the same time, we try to keep the order going, one, two, one, two, one, two. We try to keep that order going, if at all possible, because it's easier to follow. In the end, it doesn't make a great deal of difference, but that's kind of what we try to do. Customer waiting time, we have it down here. Nought, nought, the first two people are served straight away. This person has to wait five minutes till they get served. Same with this person. This person has to wait eight minutes. This person has to wait six. This person has to wait 9, 8 to 19 is 11, 10 to 20 is 10, 12 to 24 is 12. So you can see the customer running time has been 5, 5, 8, 6, 9, 11, 10, 12. It gives you 66 minutes of waiting time, which is an average of 6.6, .6, which is fairly large, and we'll talk about that in a bit, because it asks, is this appropriate? That's not that appropriate, waiting for 6 minutes. If you have a look at server idle time, the servers never stop. Okay? As soon as they finish, they pick up someone else. This one goes grabs that one. That one goes grabs that one. All the way down there. Straight away, as soon as they finish serving, they're back on again. So there's no idle time at all, which is pretty good from a business point of view. Your queue length, the first two people, okay, they've arrived at 9 o'clock. So they've arrived at 9 o'clock and they start getting served at 9 o'clock. So for them, there is no one in the queue. Okay, So if, in relation to them, there's no one in that queue. Now, they arrive at nine o'clock, serve straight away. Now these two people here, they got there at nine, but they don't get served till 9.05. So for these two people here, there are two people in the queue. These two get served straight away. So zero, zero. These two people here get served, have to wait till 9.05 each. So for them, there are two people in the queue. Then we go back to normal. 902, come across here. 910 is larger than 902, so is 905, so is 905. So that means for this guy, three people in the queue. Then let's grab the next one. 904, 9010, one, two, three, four people. So there's four people in the queue there. 906, there's one person bigger than 906, two, three, these are less than 906, so therefore there are three people in the queue. 908, one, two, 
3, 4, that's less than 908. So there are 4 people in the queue. Let's go to 910. 910. 920 is bigger than 910. So it's 1, 2, 3. 910 is the same. That person's being served, so they're not counted. So that means there are 3 people in the queue. Okay, I'll do that again. 910. 1, 2, 3. We don't count this one because they are at 910 as well. That means there's 3 people in the queue. The last one, 912. 1, 2, 3. Four people in the queue. So it's four. And then we can add up our queue length and we get 25. Our average queue length is going to be 2.5. This is rounded it up to three and our maximum is four. So the cut this says customer waiting time. What's the average customer waiting time? 6.6, .6, which is fairly poor. So you'd be looking at trying to get the efficiency better. So the things to remember in this one is that the first two people, when they're being served straight away, are included in the queue. The next two are standing in line, so there's two people there. They don't start till 905 each, so there are two people. And then from here, we start rolling along as we normally do.